When you hear the word of God, what happens? In today's gospel, Jesus gives a parable about seeds and soil, illustrating the transformative power of God's word when it is preached to us. But some hear God's word and struggle to understand it due to the pervasive influence of the evil one. Their minds find it difficult to grasp the true meaning. This is evident when people's default perspective is shaped by the ways of the world. When God's word reaches them, they've already decided it doesn't align with their allegiance to the world's ways, so they reject it without seeking to understand it. Filtering God's words through our own opinions shaped by a culture that opposes God is dangerous because it prevents us from understanding God's message. But this isn't just a problem for people who don't know God. Christians also need to check ourselves because the world's ways can still creep into our hearts. How do you know when this happens? When confronted with God's word, is your instinct to make an excuse for not applying it? We can get really good at explaining things away like helping the poor or giving away our resources or offering grace to someone hurting us. There are many examples. And sometimes we can get so bogged down in lofty theological concepts that when the basic things of even the Sermon on the Mount are preached to us, we react by thinking, well, this is the basics. I've moved on. This is a trick our enemy uses to steal away what has been sown by God into our hearts. The answer to this problem is found in humility, never believing that we've moved past the basics of loving God and neighbor. If we maintain the mindset that seeks to understand and submit to God's word in all things, then we can be assured that his word will continue to take root in our hearts and we will bear fruit.